Hey guys, it's Tanya with Scruptastic Creations. Today I'm going to create a one page layout using Close to My Heart's exclusive paper collection, Hey Handsome. I love this paper collection. I have challenged myself to use an entire pack of paper and see how many layouts I could get out of it. And here's what I have left. This is the stickers that I have left. I love these stickers. They're a high quality cardstock sticker. This right here is my inspiration for today's layout, the man, the myth, the legend, and that's gonna be my title. I am gonna scrapbook this photo here of my husband. We were at a horse show recently, and this is a photo from that show. If you've caught my other videos using this paper collection, you've seen that I created this layout of my son, Caleb, and then I created this layout right here, a double page layout of my son, Colton, and this has some interactive pieces. And then I created this one of my son, Caleb, again, and this as well has interactive pieces. I don't have it in a sleeve yet, but this paper back here, this is um, a paper that I created and I demonstrated in the video how I did that. And this background paper right here is another paper that I created. And then on this layout, this paper, is another paper that I created. So if you wanna see how I did that, I will leave those um, videos in the link. And this is what the paper collection looks like all together. <laughs> yes, I bought another paper collection. All of these papers are double-sided and have a um, Brandon strip or a zip strip on them. But I don't wanna dive into these. I am challenging myself to use this. So let me clean this up and I'll be right back. So I brought in an all-purpose mat and a sheet of white daisy cardstock. And I want to have my photo about, not really center, a little further up. I want to have it about here. And this is what I want to use for my title. So I took that off the sticker sheet and just used my anti-static pouch and took the sticky off it so that way there I can move it around and play with it. I'm thinking I want it somewhere around here. Um, or actually... I might even put it over here this time. So that's my thought process there. I had a couple of these little squares cut out, so I thought um, that I would go ahead and just use these, and I'm gonna create them down here at the, at my, the bottom of my paper. And so I'm just gonna kind of bring these in and just play with them to where to get a pattern that I like. And I cut these, I cut some extra ones at one and a half inches. So these are one and a half by one and a half. And it's just my thought to kind of just randomly put them on here and kind of build that way. So I'm leaving just a little bit of space um, in between. I think I'm going to bring this maybe all the way over and bring this up here. And I'm just gonna play with these pieces and get a couple of rows right here. This is a piece of paper that I created from a piece of mink cardstock. So I literally had this strip left over um, when I was playing with the last layout and I literally just scored it and ran my black ink pad over it. If you want to see how I did that, I ha did that in the layout, of uh, the double page layout with this paper featuring my son Colton. So that that I'm gonna leave linked in the description. So I think I like how that looks. And I need a little piece right here and when I cut these off of here, I will use one of those. I'm thinking probably this harbor color. Um, you're not going to see this, so that's okay. 
Um, yeah, I think I really like that. And um, I don't want to glue it down yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to distress the pieces or not. Um, do a little ink distressing around them. Now, I also have this piece of paper that I created in my last video, the one I did of Caleb, um, this one. So I, when I was practicing, I have another piece of that, or this is what I have left of it. And um, I, instead of wasting this, I wanna go ahead and use this. So I taught how I did this in that Hey Handsome um, video there of Caleb. And I will definitely leave all of those linked in the description. Um, but I did this with some ink swiping, and um, after I did that, I added some pigment ink, and this is almond cardstock. So I think that's going to look really good in the background. And again, I don't want to waste it, so I already have it done. I'm going to use it. Um, and then, so I'm thinking I'm going to, this is going to be covered, and this is going to be cut off. So you're only going to see the bottom of this. The reason why... I'm thinking, I'm not positive yet. The reason why I'm thinking of putting this here or over here is because I was looking at my Picture of My Life cards. This is the Hey Handsome Picture of My Life cards or pocket cards, okay? And you guys know how much I love these. I've, I like, in my last video, I created all these tags and used them behind my photos and for journaling pieces. But I really loved this. The most wonderful thing I decided to do was share my life with you to share my life and heart with you. And that is exactly how I feel about my husband. We just celebrated uh, 24 years of marriage and we've been together for 27 years and I just don't know where I'd be without him. So I love both this color. I think that would go well and I could cut this, um, but I like this one too. So I'm not really sure how I wanna do that, but maybe I can put that right there behind that photo and then create an embellishment cluster here. So that's a thought. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll have some tags up here. So we'll have our third, um, uh, our triangle there, our third um, set of embellishment cluster. Um, I'm thinking that um, I, I might wanna pull in that um, this sheet that I have. And I was thinking of maybe I don't know, maybe we'll just go ahead and frame that. But I was thinking maybe this would look good here. And then I could always put like a piece of paper or zip strip, one of the zip strips there. But I was thinking of putting this here. Um, maybe even cut this, I'm not sure yet. But we can just keep playing and see what we think. This might end up the other color and over here, but we'll just go with it for right now. So I'm sort of liking how that's coming out. So I decided to do some black inking around the edges and it just brought in my black ink pad and my um, foam blending tool and just gave it a little bit of inking around the edges and I am going to go ahead and get those glued down so they don't move and I can continue to work. So I got that glued down and I really like the way it looks. I also went ahead and glued down this sheet that I created when I did that last project, um, this one. So I will have that linked in the description so you can see how I made this. You can watch in detail how I made it. Um, I think I'm gonna map this with a black piece of cardstock. I think I wanna pull in a couple of those sheets that uh, I had cut. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna just leave them the way they are and not cut them. But I'm kinda of thinking of just laying them back here and maybe dovetailing them. Or maybe, uh, maybe not. And then I was thinking this one, I was kind of thinking of just a little bit. And maybe we'll move this up a little. So I kind of like that. And you know me, I might just pull them out all together. Uh, we'll see. So maybe we'll also cut just a little bit off of this so you can see a little bit more of this. And then... Um, 
I do want to bring in that picture of my life card and I went ahead and cut a little strip off of it because I want it to look one continuous strip behind there. I think I'm going to, I'm going to definitely dovetail this. I'm going to cut this off to make this exactly the same height because this was a um, three by four picture of my life card. And those are those cards. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that down. Okay, so I cut that down and I got these three pieces and so I'm going to save them all because you definitely as you've seen in my other videos I save all my pieces I just tuck them back in my bag because you can always add those as little um, accent pieces to your to your um, next layout or card so I think I'm going to dovetail this and I'm just going to lay it down and measure it's three inches so I'm going to start at like the one and a half and give it a little cut and then I'm going to go to the corners and bring that up. That I probably won't say. <laughs> um, I mean, I do save everything, but not that kind of stuff. So let's see. Perfect. I like that. And we'll definitely um, do some just ink distressing on that as well i saw this picture my life card this is the one that had like the camera on there and i know you're like what did you do i like cut it out <laughs> i cut this little camera out and i want to use this on my layout and i saw this look hey good looking how cute is that and then i'm going to do the same i want to dovetail that as well and i'm going to do the same i'm going to add the ink so I was thinking that this could go here and this could go up here and this could look like one continuous strip. And I like that. And of course it would be butted up. But if I if we don't like that and we just kind of want the words up top over the photo, we could totally switch this and put this down here and have this up here and just tuck that under because I would tuck it under no matter what. And just have those words peeking up right like that. So I like that as well. So we have options. And then I'm, I'm going, so see how you can use those picture my life cards in so many different ways. I love that. I always get this. You can add them into your pocket cards. I mean, into your, there's um, page protectors that are pocket, pocket plus cards sleeves. So you can um, just add them into your layout. So I love those. Or you can put them into the flip flaps. So I always get these. It just stretches your paper and you can do all kinds of stuff with them. So you can, uh, you can actually use them as the intended purpose, <laughs> but I like to kind of think outside the box sometimes. So I do want to bring in that um, title still, and I want to distress that, but I also went ahead and cut a piece of black to see like, I just thought that that china kind of got washed in the background. It kind of just blended too much. So if I cut the black and put that there, that makes it pop off the page. So I like that, but definitely we need to do some ink distressing. So I really like how that came out. I think that the black cardstock in the background and then doing that ink distressing really made it pop off the page and I'm probably going to actually put foam tape on the back of that as well to, to make it stand up a little bit more look at this cute little gift I want to show you this I received this in the mail it was a surprise and it has my name on it this is a fun little glue holder so my friend Laura mailed that to me and it was super sweet thank you so much Laura I love it and I am giving away gifts as well so the next 10 people, if you caught my last two videos, I'm celebrating a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much. So I'm going to give back to you. Let me, I just want to bring in these black arrows, these die cuts. They're super fun. This is like a paperboard. Um, so I want to bring in some arrows, but I'm celebrating. And so the next 10 people that sign up to become a VIP customer on my website will receive a gift in the mail from me. 
and it's super fun and there's all kinds of perks to sign up to be a VIP customer. Um, you save a discount on every order you placed. And, or if you want to become a maker and you want to join my team, I that as well I'm counting. So the next 10 people that sign up to be a, a VIP or a maker, when I get to 10, I will be... Um, doing a drawing on my Facebook live page on my Facebook page scrap tastic creations with Tanya Roberts I will do a live drawing and I will draw out of a hat uh a name sorry a name and um I will give a $50 gift certificate gift certificate to close to my heart so not only will you receive a gift in the mail for me you also have a chance to be entered into the drawing. There's only 10 people, so one out of 10. I mean, uh, so 10% chance you could win a $50 gift card to close to my heart. But no matter what, the next 10 people will be receiving a gift in the mail, and it will be a scrapbooking, a close to my heart um, product. So hurry up and sign up so you can get your chance to win. I'm thinking maybe I want to draw attention to the the man, the myth, the legend from Larry to that. That's kind of cute. Okay. Um, I do want to mention too that it's May. I can't believe it. Um, and this is May's stamp of the month, little stinkers. How cute are those skunks? I love them. And if you become a VIP customer. You could get a stamp set free in the mail every single month. This is the stamp of the month. Um, so each month with your qualifying order, you can get a stamp set for free. Um, or if you if you don't want to become a VIP, um, you can get this stamp set with, I think, a $50 order. You can get this for only $5. So that's super cool. And this is only available the month of May. So I like those arrows, and I'm not sure. I might pull in another arrow, one or two more, um, but I'm going to wait. I did pull some stickers off of the sticker sheet. I pull off this um, the strip. There's another border strip, and then these words. I like these, and I'd like to use these somehow. I don't know. I was thinking that this might be cool down here especially since we brought the arrows in and I will definitely would distress that and I would distress these. I'm thinking maybe even, see, I, this is cool and you just got these words here subtly, uh, subtly, but I'm thinking that maybe if we, and the black distressing will also make them pop. But I'm thinking maybe we could back them with that black cardstock. That would add a little bit, draw the black down here and add a little bit more and make those stand up more. So I might go ahead and do that. I'm wanting to bring in these fun little acrylic shapes. Uh, ugh. <laughs> these acrylic shapes that I've been using, these Hey Handsome acrylic shapes I've been using on the last several layouts. And they have all these fun stars. And you saw where I used the one tie on my son's layout. So I want to bring in some of those. So I think I want to bring in these glasses up here. So I don't want to do the black because then it will all kind of blend in. Although, I don't know. It looks pretty good. Um, let's just put the harbor side back up. So I'm going to glue some of these pieces down, and I'm going to distress this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I did go ahead and back these with a little bit of black cardstock and then edge distress them as well. And I like them. I think they kind of stand up off the page. You can see them a little a little better than you could see them before. And I kind of like them down here. Um, so I'm just gonna probably put them down here just like this. And I'm gonna work on um, getting my twine in my little tag here. And this tag is gonna just be for um, embellishing. Um, I will not be um, using it for journaling or anything. So, so this actually, is going to be my journaling so I am not going to journal any more than that on this um, 
layout, I just think the most wonderful thing I decided to do was share my life and heart with you. That says it all right there about my husband. And um, I'm going to leave that as my journaling. So, Okay, I want to explain something to you real quick. I lost the video feed for my stamping. So I went ahead and I stamped this stamp and this stamp. And I used the background elements. Okay. I did not use the water-based ink, our regular black ink pad. Okay. I used a black pigment ink. So that background paper has pigment on top of it. The white ink on there is pigment. So when you stamp the regular black ink on there, the color is this color, okay? Which was great on the layout I did previously because it looked a little bit more like the harbor, but I wanted to be true black. So I stamped it in the pigment ink since I had pigment ink on top. So I wanted to explain it to you because in the next clip I show, you're going to be like, ah, where's all the stamping she did? Sorry, I lost the video. So when I stamped this one right here, I did not put this on a block. This one, I just used my fingers and stamped that way. This one I put on a block. Sorry about that. I'm gonna bring this camera in and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna probably put it about, about there. Okay, actually, a little bit more off that photo, about there. And then I created these stars, okay? And they're nice, they're thick, okay? And I wanna show you, I wanna show you a little tip of how I created these stars. So I'm gonna take three pieces of paper, all right? And I'm going to take my glue and I'm covering this here. Let me move this up. I'm covering this completely with glue. Okay. The whole thing. I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to cover this one with glue. I'm giving it some dimension, I'm making it nice and thick. Okay, so I'm just bringing in a little stamp foam thingy, bringing my paper in. I'm bringing my regular black ink and that stamp set, okay, from the, from the Hey Handsome Scrapbooking stamp set. I'm just going to give it some ink, stamp that, perfect, and then I'm going to cut it out. And I've got that nice, thick dimension there. So that's just a quick little tip to help you out. Now I've done this lots of times. I do this with my thin cuts a lot to pop my thin cup, thin cut off the page, which is like a metal die, um, in case you're not familiar with the word thin cut. So I'll do several layers and um, I'll go ahead and glue them together and give my layout dimension that way. So I'm thinking about placing those stars right about here and here. And I'm gonna bring in one of those black acrylic stars from the Hey Handsome um, embellishment, the uh, acrylic shapes, the Hey Handsome acrylic shapes. <laughs> okay. I want to bring in some edge distressing around the outside of this. And I'm not going to use my same tool, my same foam, or the regular black ink because I don't want it to be 
this color. I'm going to stick with this color, okay, which is the black pigment. So I'm going to bring in a brand new foam tool, okay? I'm not going to mix them. And then when I'm done with this, I am going to be sure to wash it with soap so I don't go and mix my pigment ink in with my regular black ink. So I'm just going to give this a quick edge distressing. And I like how this is going to tie it and bring the layout in. I love it. I love how this came out. Okay, 